I don't really love chocolate either. Wow, have you been getting shit for it your whole life? Because yeah. I have. Because I don't like it. Tell me what's wrong with chocolate. What's wrong with chocolate? It tastes like butt. Here we are in the kitchen. I am going to make my brown butter pistachio halva chocolate chunk cookies. This is the first chocolate chip cookie recipe that I've ever developed in my entire life, and I hate chocolate. What I did was I developed the entire cookie without the chocolate and landed on a cookie that I thought was delicious in and of itself, and then I added the chocolate to turn it into a chocolate chip cookie. Things you'll need for the recipe. So the classic dry ingredients, flour, granulated sugar, and brown sugar, kosher salt, and flaky sea salt, pistachios, vanilla extract, baking soda, one egg, some halva, and dark chocolate, and of course butter. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do before we even start to combine our ingredients is blitz up our pistachios. Three tablespoons worth will go on top as a garnish, roughly chopped, and then the rest of them are gonna go inside the cookie. And then I'm gonna continue blitzing until these are really finely ground. So you're basically making like pistachio flour over here. Now we're gonna go brown our butter. 10 tablespoons of butter, so that's one stick plus two tablespoons. So it's important to cut your butter into small pieces before you brown it so that it browns evenly. And then we're gonna go throw it on a burner. I'm over like medium heat. You're just gonna whisk it pretty constantly so that it cooks evenly. And the milk solids in the butter are going to brown and they're gonna turn nutty and you'll smell it. It's one of the greatest smells in the kitchen. This is a good time to now add pistachios because we want to toast them. Just a delightful smell. Okay, this is where we're gonna stop. It's brown, day nutty, it's smelling good. Transfer this. It's gonna stop the browning. While it's still hot, I'm gonna add this ice cube to the butter, which is a funny thing to do, because it's not every day that you're adding ice to your butter. Oh, that's a good sizzle moment. Get in there. One ice cube so that there's some water to create like snap and chew. This needs to just come down at least to like a warm to the touch temperature before we add eggs so that they don't cook. Oh, we can chop chocolate in the meantime. I'm using dark chocolate because I think that's what people like. Other than that, don't really have much to say on the matter. Chop it up, put it in your cookies. You'll have chocolate chip cookies. That's what I did. I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So, starting with sugar. Okay, so one half of a cup packed plus two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. If you like a cakey cookie versus like a chewy kind of gooey cookie, you could use light brown sugar, but that's not what the recipe calls for. And then we're gonna do one third of a cup of granulated sugar. So I'm whisking those right into the butter. And then I'm gonna add one large egg, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. It helps to bring it back to a sweet place. So I'm whisking this pretty vigorously, essentially creaming with melted butter. I'm adding one cup of all-purpose flour one half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then one teaspoon kosher salt. And then I'm gonna switch to a spatula because it's gonna get really thick here. While you have to brown the butter, you don't have to wait for it to re-solidify in order to cream your sugars into it. You're just kind of like whisking everything into this melted butter and then you're gonna chill it. So you're able to make the whole dough in one fell swoop and then throw it in the fridge to chill. So there's our base dough, basically. And to that, I'm going to add about two thirds of the chopped chocolate. And then I'm also gonna add two ounces of halva, and I'm kind of just like crumbling it in as I go so that they melt and pool. But we're also gonna add more chocolate and more halva and more pistachios to the tops of the cookies right before they bake so that we ensure that we can see all of that on top. Okay, so I'm covering this, and then we're gonna go into the fridge ideally overnight, but three hours is also fine. So this is straight out of the fridge, hard as a rock. This is important to the spread of the cookie. If you start with soft dough, the cookies will just like bleed into this one big cookie sheet. The colder they are, the more they hold their shape. So I'm using a ice cream scoop and just make yourself some nice little roundies. We're rolling each cookie in the pistachios. We're placing it on the cookie sheet. 
we're putting a couple more chunks of chocolate on there and that's gonna create those like puddles of chocolate right on top. I'm also gonna take a little chunk of halva and throw it on each one so we get a little halva puddle. All the ingredients are represented on the outside as much as they are on the end. And then it's just scoop and repeat. They are quite big, these cookies, so give them space. You could totally just stop right here, scoop these on and bake them. But I think the reason that these went bonkers on the internet is because people could see like, oh, the puddles of halva and like the bright green chopped pistachios. Like they look different and people liked that. They were ready for a new cookie. Okay, so here's what they look like before they go in. And then I'm gonna show you what they look like after they come out. Yum! This might be the prettiest batch yet. They do look ready to me. <gasps> oh my God. That's a dang cookie. Does anyone agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> These look great. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm gonna show something really fun. Just a little technique that you might use if your cookies come out misshapen. While they're still warm, you can take a spatula and you scoop. Scoot anything that's out of place, and while it's still warm, the cookie will reshape, and you can make them into perfect circles. Okay, and then the last thing you wanna do, and this is while they're still warm so that it sticks, lots of flaky salt. And if you snooze on this part of the recipe, they will not be as delicious. It's just how it works, so don't forget your salt. Those are the cookies. Rest them for 10 minutes. Oh well, I can't eat these, by the way, so I'm not gonna sit here and what? eat these because there's chocolate in them. Do you guys want to eat these? Because I can't eat them and the internet's going to want to know how they taste and I can't tell them because I think they're going to taste I'll eat that. Hop in there, James. Everybody, welcome, James. James. <laughs> this one's calling my name. This one is, okay. All right. These are brown butter pistachio halva chocolate wow. chunk cookies. And you're going to have to crack this open to camera. Wow. And you just have to tell me if they are good because I don't like chocolate, right. but I have developed a good chocolate chip cookie recipe that people are loving, but I just don't really know if it's good. That's real good. It's good. Uh -huh. I don't like that I don't have the SEO on that. I just typed Molly Bob's chocolate chip cookie and did not show up. Nothing came up. <laughs> I'm like, they're viral, I swear. <laughs>